Greetings, greetings, beautiful people, and welcome to today's Movement Medicine Morsel. We're short and sweet in this series, and today's focus is going to be on the spine. In yoga, we say the spine is our fountain of youth, and it really is a great motto to live by. So let's get right into it, since it's short and sweet. We begin always with setting a beautiful foundation, a good beginning. So this already takes us out of whatever we've been doing and brings us into a fresh mindset. So we're preparing mind as well as body. So we plant our feet. We really feel our feet. They're connected to the ground to give us stability. And rock a little bit, feel your sit bones, and also feel a nice even weight in both sit bones, once again connecting to our stability. Now that we have our roots, we rise up looking for some suspension. Lightly tap the crown of your head just a little bit to wake up your sensation here. And then imagine being drawn up gently as though there's a magic hook with a beautiful cord that just lifts up a little bit and it creates space in between each one of your vertebrae, each vertebra separated from the other, nicely elongated. Now we want to make the sh sure that the shoulders don't end up up, so let's train them a little bit. We're tall, we're rooted, and on the inhale, raise those shoulders up nice and high, and on the exhale, just let them flow down without disturbing your tall spine. Inhale, shoulders come up nice and high, Exhale, they flow down. And one more for good luck. Inhale, shoulders nice and high. And exhale, they flow down. So there's a separate movement between the spine has its vertical nature, but the shoulder girdle has a little bit of independence. It's connected, but it doesn't go up when we straighten the spine and drop when we relax. So the spine has this independent mountain-like channel quality, very regal. And then the shoulder girdle hangs on that. Shoulder girdle actually begins right here where the collarbones rest and join on the breastbone, come out in two curvy bones to the sides and connect to the shoulder blades that hang down the back and are sandwiched between layers of muscle. So actually the only place that there's a bony connection with the shoulder girdle is right here. Isn't that amazing? I think that's amazing. All right. So we've already covered one of the most important of the movements of the spine. You could say that this is the mother of all of the movements. Vertical alignment, where you have a good base, a long open channel that's lovely and vertical, and that suspended feeling lifting up. That's going to be present in every one of the other movements. I'm going to move back a little bit so you can see where we're going. <clears throat> and of course, all of these movements are best coordinated with our breathing. So we've already made more space for our lungs and all of our organs, as well as for our vertebrae and other bones. Pretty nice. Already a good start. So let's take our arms up. Inhale, sweep the hands up. And let's exhale round the back, the whole spine rounds. You can cross your forearms. Inhale, reach up. We're going fairly vertical. We're stretching nice and tall. Oops, I got a bit of an extra arch there. Not yet. Exhale, rounding, rounding. Inhale, feel how the breath and the lifting, stretching of the spine go together. And let's do two more of these. Exhale, rounding. Let's give ourselves a hug. Inhale, sweep the hands down, reach them up. And one more time. Exhale, give yourself a hug, curving the spine. Inhale, reach up, interlace the fingers, press the palms up, and lean over to the side. So that's lateral flexion. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lean over to the other side. Lateral flexion on the other side. Let's do that again. Lean. Inhale, rise up. Last one. 
lean and rise up stay tall open the elbows lift the chest here we want to have a nice arch in the back and we'll brush the backs of the hands and the elbows forward rounding the back we're revisiting here now turn the palms up pull the elbows back open the chest and we want a back bend here exhale brush the backs of the hands through full exhale through the whole movement full inhale you're inhaling all the way into your arch you're exhaling all the way into your flexion inhaling all the way during your extension and one more of each exhale flexion inhale extension let's interlace the fingers and savor this extension anyone who's spending their day sitting in front of a computer is probably spending a lot of time in exactly the opposite position so let's enjoy a little bit of spinal extension plus a little bit of shoulder extension to boot get a nice amount of air and breath into the upper chest all right so we've covered four of the movements we've done vertical alignment we've done flexion extension that's two more we've done lateral flexion that counts as one because it has two sides and what we have left is twisting but we're going to do one more lateral flexion this one really strengthens the hips we did a bend where we curved the upper body now we're going to lift the hip so you can't see it uh, in this angle but I don't want to be too far away from you but I'm lifting the heel I'm lifting up my heel to lift that hip and then putting it down lift the heel which pushes the hip up or helps you lift the hip so we're getting a lateral bend but we're doing it in a slightly different direction so inhale when we hike the hip exhale when we lower just let that settle and we'll do the other side inhale lift the heel because that gives you that piston like action you could lift the hip lower down and you don't have to go as high as i'm demonstrating i just want to have the instructions look clear so you get the gist of what's happening inhale exhale one more time inhale and exhale nice all right i'm coming a little closer <clears throat> rotation zip up always vertical alignment because if we twist and we're not vertically opened up axial extension we're going to be grinding so we don't want to grind we don't want wear and tear on the bones we and we want that lovely buoyancy so start in vertical alignment take one hand to the opposite thigh the same hand around maybe hold the chair seat get both sit bones down inhale grow tall and exhale use your arms to gently assist you to rotate and i even like to think of this as spiraling because spiraling has a connotation of continuing upwards whereas rotation might just feel like going around and we want to always invite that vertical alignment feeling another way to play with the vertical alignment is to imagine that you elongate your spine from top to bottom when you inhale and then on the exhale you explore the twisting the rotating the shoulders are relaxed and down and the breath is flowing freely in and out of the belly region hmm. next inhalation come back to the center and notice how that feels now we take the other hand to the opposite thigh same hand behind find your sit bones nice and even inhale restore or even in, in go further in your vertical alignment and then take yourself to spiral or rotate up and around inhale you root and rise more exhale you explore your rotation and your arms can help pushing back against the thigh or outside of the leg with the one hand and pulling a little bit with the other just a little bit not never overdoing this and breathing 
And now coming back to the center and something a little bit fun. I'm going to adjust my camera just a wee bit so you can see a bit more. And we're going to circle our pelvis. So just rock the pelvis forward and back a couple of times. Take that hand out of the way. Rock back and forward. So it's like a cat and a dog, but focusing more on the pelvis and rocking a little bit one side to the other just to feel the sit bones. And when you're ready, you're priming the pump. I'll get that hand out of the way so you can get an idea and then let your body just follow along. We're drawing a circle with the pelvis, which is taking the spine through all kinds of nice places. Rather than a linear progression, you're circling through those side bends, the flexion, the extension. And of course, we want to do that in the opposite direction. Let your upper body respond. Don't try to hold it stiff. Your head and neck might be enjoying this as well. So you can let that spiraling come all the way up through the spine. Excellent. Okay. Now we're going to put this together in a little standing flow. I'll readjust my camera there. And I invite you to stand up if you wish to. And we're going to go tall, that vertical alignment suspended from the sky, rooted into the earth. I need to adjust that just a little bit better. You got too much of my moon boots and not enough of my hands up above. So let's inhale and reach up and exhale, bend the knees and round the back. Inhale, straighten everything and reach up. You can even do a little back bend and exhale round. Now we're going to change it a little bit. Hands come behind. First, the hips come through, then the chest comes through, then the arms come through. And you just relax the elbows as you exhale and round the back. The pack, backs of the hands point forward. So this is a ripple or an undulation. So first the hips come as you inhale, then the belly, then the chest, the arms are coming up. You end up in an in inhaled, nice big inhaled back bend. And exhale, you melt the elbows, you bend the knees, and you round the back. So inhale first, the knees, the hips, the belly, the chest, the arms, the throat, big opening, elbows bend, relax, exhaling, you're rounding. Let's do a couple more. Inhale, knees, hips, belly, chest, face, arms, elbows soften as you begin your exhalation. Hands turn over, palms face back. Two more. Inhale, knees go over the toes, hips, belly, chest, face, big swoon. Exhale, relax. We're going to do one more because it feels good. So, knees, hips, belly, chest, big inhalation, stay here, take another breath in and out, and then bring the feet together, bring the palms together, and as you come to an exhale, draw a beam of energy down the center line, take a pause at the heart, smile, feel gratitude for your beautiful, magnificent spine, and on the next exhale, we lower the fingertips down and we fold the hands over the belly and we settle the energy down and we breathe deeply and smoothly into our pelvic low belly region, inhaling so that the belly swells and you feel it in your hands, exhaling and the hands follow the belly back in. Notice how you feel. Notice if your spine feels nice, if you feel a bit more limber or fluid. And I thank you for joining in. And your presence is deeply appreciated. It's lovely to practice together. And see you next time. Enjoy your magnificent spine. Bye-bye.